All right, here we are. It's another beautiful day out here on the farm, and uh, today is the 24th. Uh, I just want to say a quick happy anniversary to Eden and myself, two years today. So, happy anniversary, honey bunny. Appreciate you for everything, and uh, hope we get a lot more. Love you to death. So, I got a couple cool things going on today. So, one, I just checked all my traps. I only have one catch today. <sighs> another feral cat this is a good one though this is one i've been trying to get for two years i even missed him with my bow during bow season he was about 30 yards out and i tried to get him out in the field with a judo point missed him uh i hit him once with a pellet gun at about 50 yards all i did was keep him from coming around my house for about six months this is a chicken killing machine He's gotten at least three that I know of. He's killed three chickens of ours. Uh, I'm pretty happy to see him in a trap, to be honest. I'd much rather have a coyote, but uh, this cat's killed more chickens than those coyotes have, I promise you. Anyway, I just want to show you what I've got going on. Um, about, I'm going to set another uh, dirt hole today. Now that the ground is semi-thawed out, I can dig down a little bit. But uh, I'm pulling this other dirt hole, and I wanted to show you what I had to do. Just one second. Okay, so here's my dirt hole that I had. Oh, no, I'm sorry. This was a scent post. They've been uh, pissing on that clump right there. At least you could see it in the snow. And uh, I had a, a Berkshire down in there. But, I mean, I had to take my trapping spade. I had to dig quite a good little hole to... Uh, maybe I'm blocking the shadow. Uh, I had to dig a pretty good little hole to get that Berkshire out. I've got one more Berkshire i got to pull later. But uh, for now... Pardon the camera motion. I'm gonna swing down into that area over there by that tree, big tree, and I'm gonna put a dirt hole set over there. There's a nice travel corridor right there you can see, and the deer and the yotes and basically everything like moving right through that gap. Uh, it's similar, pardon the camera, to that travel opening where just about everything goes through there. So uh, that's where I've caught both of those cats on that uh, pipe dream set that I put out so I guess the uh, cats like that pipe dream or maybe they don't but anyway all right so I'm gonna set up I do have my tripod with me so I'm gonna try to set it up for a video here we go okay so that's where I'm gonna put my dirt hole you can see that log kind of at an angle there and that other one jutting out I decided that's a great place it, it's a natural place for the kind of gets their head in the right direction uh, this will be interesting. I don't know if the ground's frozen. All I have is my hatchet and whatnot, but uh, I'm gonna give it a whirl here. Grab my bucket of goodies. Actually, I do have my trap spade with me. I'm hoping this microphone is working. Let's see here, I'll put my bucket of joy on this one here, Eagle. That's good. So maybe I'll be able to cut a hole with my hatchet. <laughs> frozen. Frozen, frozen, frozen. Man, tell you what, I thought for sure the sun would have opened this up. It is still frozen. But we're going to try anyway. I got everything I need to do it, so I might as well give it a shot. Let's see, these are actually fresh. Not sure how easy it's going to be because, like I say, it's not going to be easy. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is cut a trap bed.
you haven't already subscribed, <laughs> I hope you decide it's a good idea to do so. Uh, even after watching all my bumbling. That's okay. I watch a lot of trappers on here. Nobody tries to make it look like they're super professional and all that. Let me tell you, I've been doing this long enough to know that not everybody's super professional. I hope I wasn't making a lot of noise with my microphone. If I am, this is all going to get deleted. Okay. Duke number three. Chain. Again, that's just to fill, because I'm tired of using up some of the flat, flat sand up here. A little bit of polyfill. I've learned that too much polyfill is actually a bad thing. If it's sticking out from underneath that trap pan. I don't know what it is about it, but man, the animals seem to always find it. Next door, they got one of those big, uh, it's like a giant stump grinder. They're uh, clearing out like a one acre food plot right now. It'd be nice if I could get that fella over here, that'd be great. All right, little chunk of wax paper. Crinkle it up so it doesn't make a lot of noise. Tuck it under. Hold it to the correct length. That is that. Tighten it up. Tuck it in. I know you guys can't see what I'm doing exactly, but maybe if I describe it, you'll get a good idea. Okay. Dollar store waste basket, or whatever the basket is, works great for a sifter. Now I always use the lid.
for that. Now we got to dig us a dirt hole. Got it in about a 45 degree angle. And that's that. David Coffee, Coffee Outdoors, had a, a bag and I thought, you know, I've never really used it very much. I just had my lures right in with my traps. I'm like, gosh, that's kind of stupid, really. She's full. For those of you that remember, this is my unlucky rabbit's foot. Uh, we got our case Predator Plus. And one of my absolute favorites, Wind Talker of June. So, this is how we're going to do this. chunk to get toward the end of the season I can use as much as I want smear that into my cheeks wool real nice jam it in there right here there we go get it down in there This stuff is super skunky. Oops, I almost forgot my unlucky rabbit's foot. I don't like that idea. Okay. So this stuff is so skunky, I actually keep it. What real large? I keep it in a plastic bag in my plastic bag. That's how skunky it is. And that's all she wrote, guys.